Hi, my name is Christopher Holtby, co-founder, Wealth Advisors Trust Company. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh, in this video, I'm going to describe how to negotiate cost-efficient trustee fees, whether you're using a traditional bank trust department or company, or an advisor-friendly trust company like us. Every trustee fee is based on only two items, risk and time. And you want to narrow down a trustee's risk and time to lower their trustee fee. A bank trust company, if you tell them, I have real estate or I have a company, you want to put it into a manager managed limited liability company, LLC for short and you want to make sure the trustee has no power to elect, remove, or appoint the managing member of that LLC or the general partner or GP of a partnership. You want a trust protector to have those decisions. And the other thing is you don't want to pay for lunches, you don't want to pay for educational services, and you really don't want to overpay for their internal investments. Those are a few simple ideas to lower a trustee fee for using a traditional bank trust company. For an advisor-friendly trust company, or you, know, you could also think of it as a modern trust company, all the same points that I discussed with a uh, bank trust company, but you can also make it directed, making sure it's in the right state. And here's the best part. Do you remember we talked about time? So if you reduce the number of discretionary trust distributions where the, it has to go through a trust committee and there's a lot of moving parts, if you can reduce those, that'll reduce the fee. If you can also reduce the number of overall annual distributions, that's also really, really important. There are seven factors in a trustee fee, and it's not about control, it's about risk and time. Go look at it on the internet about trustee fees and there'll be lots of additional information. But the most important thing is when you're working with your attorney, estate planning attorney, I hope, make sure that the language is not vague and that the rules for distributions and investment decisions are clear and don't sort of, you know, get all jumbled up like a plate of spaghetti. If that happens, you can demand much more cost-efficient trustee fees.